that was my dramatic before dance and we'll get a more exciting one with my dramatic after. <laughs> Yay, shoulder fluff. These aren't even shoulder pads. What, it's just like made in a way to like have kind of like a, take me serious. Okay, I'm not taking myself serious or anything serious today. That's just what is going down in my universe. Uh, we're rolling with it. I'm really excited to do something a little smoky, a little colorful, not too rainbow bright, like crazy colorful. Like I want this to still be wearable, but I am gonna first go in to this 18 hit wonders palette. This looks pretty. This yellow in here is like neon, like that's crazy. I look so gross in yellow. We're not even gonna, we're not doing that. Okay, I'm gonna swatch some of these to see exactly like how. Ugh. Okay, that did not go well. Now I'm scared. Um, Why is that swatch? Okay, this is gonna be better. That's better. This is the shade Royal. These are just not very pigmented. I'm gonna go back in evergreen again right here and just go again on top. Yikes. Ah, uh, let's go in the shade element. That's pretty. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay, I like that. Let's go in the shade shade. That's not bad either. The shade penny, that's gonna be pretty. Ish. The shade danger. Not bad, they're just not as vibrant as I thought that they would be, you know? Let's go into solar, even though I will not be wearing this. I mean, can you imagine? It's not a Tati shadow. Ew. What the? <laughs> Elf, come on, what is that? Then we have the shade Moss, this is pretty. It's a little rough and, ooh, it's like duochrome. Okay, it's a little rough in texture. Wow, okay. So this is an interesting palette because there are some clear winners and some clear not winners. I am just like not feeling this and it's really like screwing up my whole vibe. What in the effing FF? Okay, I did a video using this one just a while back, but I just wanna show you guys, like I'm confused. Look at this. Those are better, right? That's better. I was able to come up with like a gorgeous, gorgeous look in that video. If you would like to see that, then definitely check it out. I'll link it below. Do you know what's like crazy? I don't wanna use either one of these. I don't, I'm just not a fan at the moment. And so what I'm gonna do is a quick change. I am going to go into my magical bin of elf. Ooh, hello, this is pretty. I have not done a cooler toned smoky eye in a hot minute. This kind of reminds me of a naked palette, right? Like Urban Decay vibes big time. Something that I'm really into at the moment is doing my eyes before my face. And that is because I have recently discovered that when I blend up and like way out and way underneath, I create more balance for my face and it just looks better and then I have no issue with fallout. So we're gonna, you know, do that. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Smoky Eye Kit. I'm gonna give a quick spritz just to sanitize the brushes. I always recommend that whenever you have a brand new brush. Okay, so let's go in with a little bit of the camo concealer. And this is the shade Light Beige. And I'm gonna actually take a beauty blender and just grab this right up on the tip, on the pointed end and almost come down a little bit right here so that I have full brightening and full coverage everywhere that I might be laying down shadow. I am first gonna take this fluffy brush. It is literally called the Fluffy Eye Blender Brush. Sweet. And we're gonna do a cool tone look and I think it's gonna look so good. So I'm first gonna go into this chocolate shade right here. So what I'm gonna do is go right on that outer edge with light pressure first, just to kind of check how much pigment is coming off the brush. Then I increase the pressure and check and kind of go from there. And you notice I'm literally getting around here and I don't care because I don't have my foundation on. It's so good. So if in the beginning we started out with small circles, now we're doing big ones and I'm kind of just fanning that color everywhere. Okay, going back for more. 
Now I'm gonna do a back and forth just to deepen up a little bit of this edge. And I'm almost gonna start pulling toward the inner portion of my brow. I don't wanna get it on the lid so much, so I'm kind of almost doing like a straight line. That works for my eye shape. It might not for yours. You might wanna do more of this, just depending on how open you want this space to be. This is not the greatest brush in the world. The shadow's going on okay. Okay, so we're pretty blended. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but I kinda wanna grab one of my more favorite brushes and just see if it blends quicker, more easily. I think it will. Okay, so this brush definitely blends a lot better. You can see a little more choppiness on this side. This side is much smoother. I like this side so much better. Forgive me, everybody. I'm gonna go in with this brush on this side and just blend it out a little bit better. Brushes are so important. And because this is a kit, I'm just gonna go ahead and say hard pass. Elf does have some brushes that I do enjoy and I wanted to experiment with using that brush set, but if the initial lay down crease brush can't even get it done, forget it. No, thank you. The shadow's blending nicely, but you need to have a nice tool. And this is not even the most like high-end brush that I'm using. This is from Stilazzi, and I really like a lot of their brushes. Now I'm gonna take a clean brush, and this is from Hank and Henry, and you guys, I really like these brushes. I'm gonna give a quick shout out because this was such a cute little brush set. I even love what it says on the bag. It says, eyes without lashes are like cupcakes without frosting. I think that's so cute. And I've really, really been enjoying these brushes. Highly recommend, they're so soft. And then I'm just gonna stick with this brush as we move right along. I am gonna go into this shade right here, which is just a little bit deeper. It's the neighbor to the initial brown. And I'm really just gonna focus that right here with a stamping, stippling motion. This is a ELO Cosmetics IL075. Grabbing it on the tip right here. And again, just kind of stippling on that outer edge. I'm gonna kind of run the excess on my hand. There's not much left on here. And then I'm going to graze underneath the eye. And I'm gonna kind of tuck it into the lashes as well. James just came in and told me that I looked very black swan. I think that's a compliment. It kind of is, right? I kind of need to like... It's gonna look a lot softer and better and more sexy and like beautiful than aggressive and like, ah, you know? Um, I am gonna wipe this, this edge up. Just, I promise you, it's gonna look great. James comes in here, he's such a doll for doing it. I've had one too many times where I will get up and I will stop the camera and restart it because the camera I work with, you have to like go and physically start, stop. I could do it with a remote, I don't trust that with the amount that I filmed when I used to be five days a week, I would lose footage all of the time. And I would just be having like meltdown after meltdown. So we just decided that whoever's here can come and start stop for me. So if you're wondering like, why is James always like out there? He's not, he can't stay in here. He's not allowed to be in here. My show, I say what I wanna say, I don't script anything, it's my gig. I'm so proud of that. There was a rumor for a while that I don't plan my own videos and that there was some kind of mysterious team or my husband that would orchestrate the videos that I choose to film. And it's insulting, first off, but also kind of makes me laugh because I'm like, actually, this is my process. It's not complicated at all. I create a file, I know what products I wanna talk about. I'm like, cool, do I have them sitting in front of me? Awesome, check. Light, 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 camera, action. And that's literally as deep as it goes. Everything is in the moment. And I'm so proud of that. 
I am so proud of that. It's a talent that I've gotten better at along the way. I've sharpened it up and I'm so grateful that YouTube did that for me, you know, like it, it made me better. But yeah, I find that to be the most insulting thing, especially, I'm just gonna go there. We're gonna have like a moment, especially as a woman to have men in the industry immediately assume that you're not doing this alone. And it's not that I don't have help. Like, I love that I have help. I love my team. But the automatic assumption that there has to be a man behind it is just gross, right? Anybody else? Ugh, I just, I feel like I have to talk about that. Not a lot pisses me off. That pisses me off. Do not take away my hard work and minimize my talents because of my gender. It's something I battle even being the CEO of Halo and going and visiting labs and factories and fulfillment. There is still in the world this tendency for people to look to the man. It just happens, I hate it. I'm fighting the good fight for us all. I hope you know that. I take what I do so seriously and like that's, a big part of it. So let's continue with our smoky eye, shall we? Okay, so moving on. I am gonna go into this brush right here from e.l.f. This is a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna go into this chocolatey metallic brown right here, grab it on a dampened brush. Looks a little crumbly, just a little bit. Ugh. Really, really gorgeous color. This is the kind of shadow that has the type of texture that would build up really quickly. So go in light, light layers. I'm gonna now take this guy right over here, this kind of pinky metallic, just with a tinier brush and hit the inner corner. With my finger, I'm gonna take kind of the more silvery one and just tap right in here. Now I'm gonna line my eyes and I'm gonna use the H2O Proof Eyeliner Pen in Jet Black. Wish me luck. This is a really good liner, what? I like that, that's so nice. Okay, we're gonna go in with the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I think we'll just do that and then I will set it with these guys, but I'm gonna kind of fast forward it and save you guys. Absolute boredom. Actually, I'm gonna put some mascara on as well. I don't have e.l.f. mascara and that's because I don't really like e.l.f. mascara, but also it irritates my eyes and like those are the avenues where I'm like making a video and I say full face of this or full face of that. If there's something that breaks me out, irritates me, that I know just does not mix well with me. I'm just not gonna do it. So I hope you guys understand. I'll keep everything listed below for you, but let me do brows mascara and we will get back and do the face. Does anyone really love these is what I wanna know. Please leave it in the comments below. I'm not trying to be shady, I promise. I just think these are really ugly. <laughs> I mean, they just feel kind of weird and they don't really look very natural. Not that false lashes should look natural, like they're, you know, they're probably not going to, but it just has this like almost like plastic kind of a, I can't stand these. And every single time I do a full face of e.l.f., like in the art of not wanting to have people be like, it's not a full face. Like I try to really use as much as I can and then I find myself being like, you know, and then I wanna do like this because I'm like, look at this beautiful eye look that I spent so much time on. And I feel strongly that this is just gonna make it look even more gorgeous. So it's not like I'm saying go and buy like a $40 pair of like mink lashes, you know? Okay, I, yay, I love today's eye look so much and I'm going nowhere. It's really exciting. 
I am always really hesitant with e.l.f. foundations. For one, my skin. I like it. I don't want it to break out. I don't want it to be irritated. For two, I just feel like they never have enough coverage. This is an oil-free satin finish. I always read satin is Satan. Yikes. This is the shade Vanilla. It looks... This is Vanilla. I'm gonna take a brush to apply the putty primer. I have decided I do like this. I didn't like it initially. I like the Tatcha one more, obviously. It's got better ingredients. It feels better on the skin, but this is not bad. And a lot of people super, super love it. If you have a tendency like me to dig in too deep and put on too much, just use a brush. It'll be a much better situation for you. Okay, we're gonna go in with vanilla. This was sent to me in a giant PR box with like all new everything. So really, I may have tried this product before. Why do I feel like I have? But also brands are always like reformulating and upping their game and making things better. So maybe not. We're going in for layer two. This smells like the kind of perfume that would give you a headache. And I already have a headache. Okay, so this is not bad, it's not great. I'm gonna take the shade Sand to just warm up the perimeter just a little bit. I'm also gonna take a little bit of Beverly Beach in Afterglow. This is a tinted face and body bronzer. This is what I'm wearing on my arms and I want it to kind of meet up with my face. So I'm just going to mix those two together and take the brush I used for primer. Okay, moving on to concealer. I'm gonna take my camo concealer in medium peach and I'm just a dabble do ya kind of a thing out here a little, that's it. I am going to use this oil control, control, this oil control blotting powder and I am going to take the e.l.f. flawless face brush and we're just gonna stamp that in there and go over the T-zone and set a little bit of the under eye. That's actually super nice. I love this powder. And the nice thing is you don't really need much. I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. priming blush. Not my fave, but you know what? Maybe try it again and I'll feel different. Sometimes that happens. Nope, doesn't. Um, this just blotches. I don't know that I like that. The color is really pretty. It just doesn't smooth out. Oh my God. If you saw this in the mirror, you guys would laugh. I was like putting it on using the monitor, like just the monitor. Oh my gosh, holy smokes, it's strong. From there, we need to highlight. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. white gold highlighter. Again, they have better ones in my opinion. There are some highlighters from e.l.f. that are so gorgeous and smooth. I will link below a video where I try those ones out, but because this was in that PR kit, I kind of just wanted to stick with this. This is not bad. It's just not as smooth to the touch. I wanna do one more thing and that is go underneath the eye with a little bit of the bronze shade from this palette. And it's really strange because I don't have an e.l.f. bronzer. I am gonna contour my nose using their brow product.
Okay, last thing. I'm now gonna take the Lip Plumping Gloss in Mocha Twist, and I don't have an e.l.f. lip liner. So we're gonna use one from Maybelline. This is 110. So here we are, we are at the end and this is the completed look. I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown just kind of officially at the end here of what I love, what I don't. All right, rapid fire, one, two, three, go. The camo concealer I absolutely love, you guys know that. It works beautifully as an eyeshadow base. You saw it perform so gorgeously where it canceled all of the veins, discoloration. The eyeshadow palette that I used, I really love. I think this is beautiful. I think the quality texture, just the evenness, like the evenness in the pigmentation is a little bit elevated in these smaller palettes. The larger palettes recently are kind of hit and miss. You have have a handful of them that are great, like the metallics are really pretty. The other shades, they look so vibrant when you're just looking at the actual palette itself. And then you go to swatch it or put it on and you really have to go that extra mile to blend up the color. Sometimes it can look a little muddy and weird and patchy when you're doing say like a bright green or a bright yellow and you have to keep layering and layering and layering. It's just gonna look kind of funky in my opinion. So. I wasn't a big fan of the palette I was gonna use, used this instead. This is the Everyday Smoky and I really like it. What I didn't like was that brush kit. We all know there are better things out there. You don't have to spend a fortune. You can get a great brush that will do a lot of blending and have a soft touch that will not fray for not a lot of money. And maybe I will do an upcoming video of brushes that I really enjoy that don't cost 50 to $75. Moving from there, you know, e.l.f., they kill it with their eyebrow products across the board. I really, really love them. The new foundation or the update that they made, I don't like. I prefer L'Oreal. That's my favorite drugstore foundation, the infallible wear foundation that comes in a pump. I really love that one. It looks so nice on the skin. You can't feel it. This one feels a little itchy and it smells. That's enough for me to be like, you know, it's an, no. From there, I wanna talk about the putty primer. This one does feel nice, but it's not as good as Tatcha. Tatcha just has a slip and a hydration and it just primes the face in a way that is just unmatched. So even though this is the dupe and it is a more budget-friendly option, I am still just not the biggest fan. My face itches. I feel like it did not smooth out my pores as much as I had hoped, nor did it hydrate as much as I would hope for as well compared to Tatcha, which those are kind of the two that battle it out. Elf blushes almost never work out for me. It was just like really, really patchy. The powders from Elf are great. Highlighters are great. The glosses are great. There is so much here to appreciate and love on. They make great products. They really, really do. Uh, just some of them are gonna work better for different people depending on what you want out of your product and out of your makeup. There we have it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun taking my sweet time to do this makeup. I hope it wasn't too long for you. If you like me explaining things in detail the way I did in this video, even with an initial try-on where I don't have it all mapped out, and this isn't my everyday favorite routine, let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to do this format more. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure to do that before you leave, and then ring the bell. I am here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. PST, and I hope you come back and hang out again. I would love that. Go have a good one, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.